Good day scholars, welcome to our next class on matrices where we go through the joys and fun and lovely beautiful topic of matrices. I hope you did your homework from the last class. Let's get cracking. So what's the value of x in this situation? Look at this, look at this question, pause the video, look at this and see if you can figure out what's the value of that x there. Now if you watch it, realize that this is the same as that, this is the same as that, this is the same as that, so what is x? <laughs> if it supposed to be the same as this 2x here, it means that it should be equal to 2x, right? Yeah, I just say it back in terms of algebra here. Um, 2x should be equal to 8, you know, we like to write this way. So x will be equal to 8 over 2, somebody pressing that horn on the road there. 4. You all got 4? Everybody got 4? So it means that this is 4. This this x is really 4 because 2 by 4 gives me 8. Making sense? This topic is called equal matrices. Equal matrices. It might seem like a real trivial thing. I like saying this is equal to that. But they can bring some whack questions on this. What's the value of A here? What's the value of B? Write what you think the value of A and the value of B is in the comments. Let's see if you're going to get it on. A is obviously 3, right? A has to be the same as that. And B, pause the video. Make sure you write your answer for B. B is going to be... How many people said 2? How many people said 8? 8 is the correct answer. Half of B is 4. Or what you could have done was write half b is equal to 4 that's like b over 2 is equal to 4 and we know we could just come now and say 4 times 2 because like yeah you all know about that right you're bringing across the division so it turns to multiply so b is equal to 8 this is solving it using algebra equal matrices some fun stuff we can ask you some interesting questions based off this concept and i did there's homework you can head to my website, coinspringer.com, and check in the assignments tab, assignments page, and bust down the latest assignment there. Or you can go to the student hub, I'll also post it on the student hub, and you can download it from there as well. Let's do the next topic. The next topic we're doing for today is matrix multiplication, and we call that George. Matrix multiplication is a little fishy for some people because they don't take the time and learn it properly the first time. So if this is the first time you've seen this, take a deep breath and just learn it systematically. You don't make a noise, boy. All right, so the way this works all the time is row by column. It's always going to be a, the row on the first matrix by the column on the second matrix. Row by column. Now, before we even jump into the multiplication, we should examine the size of each of these individual matrices. And that will give us the size of the result, the product. So let's see. The size of this one is 2 by 2. Size of this one is 2 by 2. Let me tell you something that's important eh? because if these two numbers are not the same, matrix multiplication cannot occur. There's a reason for that. The number of rows in the second matrix must be equal to the number of columns in the first matrix. So if those two numbers right on the inside they are not the same, matrix multiplication cannot occur. Put that in your back pocket, put that in your front pocket and remember that. That's very important. You will be tested on that in CXE. These two numbers here are also important because they tell us the result of the matrix that we're going to get. It doesn't always work out with nice 2 by 2, 2 by 2, 2 by 2 here. Yeah? So remember that. All right. All right. So we're ready to perform now. Watch how this works. You're going to say 2 by 4 and then negative 1 by 1. So we're dealing with this row, the first row, and the first column. Row in the first matrix, column in the second matrix. What's something, eh? We know we're going to get a 2 by 2 matrix in the end. So you know you need that element here, 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 and here. This first one, this first element is in the first row and the first column. So that is why we know we have to multiply row by column, first row by first column to get the answer. And here's how it works. It kind of slides. You're, you're catching hang of it just now. 2 by 4 is 8 and negative 1 by 1 is neg plus negative 1. Catch that? 
Now let me write it out so that you'll be able to track all the numbers. 2 by 4 plus negative 1 times 1. What do you think is going to go here? Let me put this in a different color, orange. This is in the first row, but it's in the second column. So row by column. So I'm going to say 2 by 2 plus negative 1 by 5. Next up, we have this guy over here who is in the second row. Back to the first column, he's in the second row. So I'm going to say second row by first column. So I'm going to say 3 by 4. It gets an exciting now. 3 by 4 plus 0 by 1. Anytime I see zeros, I get extra happy because that means that now 0 times 1 is just 0. I know maths to do there. Last but not least, this element over here is going to be the second row and the second column. So let's just boil that down. I think we're getting a 3 by 2 plus a 0 by 5. And that is the really important part about matrix multiplication. You need to understand that sliding, sliding. You need to get that slide. You need to. There's this TikTok slide, so I can't really play it because then they'll copyright the video. Slide, the, slide to the left, right. We're uh, about to slide thing, whatever. Anyhow, so slide and slide down. So when you're dealing with this first one, your first one, first one, first one, that kind of, that kind of vibe, that kind of vibe. Check it over, make sure you understand, trace where all the numbers went. Pause the video, check it over, trace where all the numbers went, make sure you understand that. Let's start to do some little maths here and just boil this down into a little number by himself. 2 by 4 plus negative 1 by that, so this is going to be 8 plus negative 1. Over here we'll get 4 plus negative 5. Just put any negative numbers in brackets, you know, so you don't do anything ridiculous. 12 plus 0. And 6 plus another 0. So in the end, we are going to finish off nice and good with 7, negative 1, 12, and 6. So what do you think about that? Hard, easy, you could understand it, you could grasp it. Let me know. This is one style of multiplication that comes. There's another type of multiplication that can come. Remember, this was a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2, two square matrices. What about if we had a 2 by 2, two rows, two columns, by a 2 by 1, two rows, one column? Let's just verify that these two numbers are the same, so the multiplication can take place. But the answer is going to be a 2 by 1. So we expect in a matrix with two rows but just one column going down so if you think about it this one is a little easier because it's row by column and then you just need to do row by column again one by two plus four by three this is one element zero by two plus negative two by three this is another one element so we can just boil that down into the answer 2 plus 12 0 plus negative 6 14 negative 6 did you get that answer so that is it for today right this so we're not going to do anything new again let's just cover the homework we did last time what is the order of the each of the matrices above that mean the size that means this is a two by two this is another two by two this is a two by one this is a one row by three columns one by three chavi give my eyes up now this is a two by one okay that's done name the row matrices the row the row matrix is that one D because it just has one row. Name the square matrices. Well, that would be A and B. The column matrix would be C. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. E. C and E. C and E. Let's get the next part of the question done. Find the values of A plus B. So that was A and B. So if I say A plus B now, it's going to be the addition of the individual elements 
with their corresponding elements in E and B and this should be the answer that you get there verify that let me know if you see any mistakes let me know part b wanted us to get 3a minus c but immediately you see there's a problem when you multiply 3 by a that's okay everybody will get multiplied by 3 but the c is not the same size as this so this um invalid question can work it can't work this question out of it a minus a third b a minus a third b so we will set it up like this a minus a third b let's send the third into b so everything kind of finishes like this you can verify a third of zero is zero a third of nine is nine over three which we, which we can simplify and then we will subtract negative one minus zero I'm going to put 12 minus 3 because this is the same as 3 there. 2 minus 1. 8 minus 2 thirds. In the end, you should end up with this answer. Let me know if you got that answer. Love and blessings. Finally, we wanted C minus E, but if we look at C and we look at E, wait, they can't work C minus E, so let's just do that quickly. 4, 2, 0, negative 2. The answer that I'm getting is 4, 4. There were, there were some additional things to research. We'll learn about this in the next class. That's the identity matrix. This is like a null square matrix. And we just covered matrix multiplication. The two styles that normally come for CXC. When you have the square by that. And when you have the square by the square. 2 by 2 by 2 by 1 and 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. Here's the homework for the next class. Just a little bit of work for you all to do. You can download the PDF on my website, coinspringer.com assignments, or you can go to the student hub and get it straight off the student hub and ask people for assistance. Students from all over the Caribbean, some really brilliant people out there, scholars, and they will help you out on the student hub. Love and blessings. This was a little longer than I expected. Now to edit this video, boy.